A family in New Jersey is mourning the tragic loss of their beloved dog after he came face to face with a por porcupine. The dog's injuries so severe it did not survive. Mm. I want to see reporter Darla Miles is live in Montague this afternoon and she just spoke with the dog's family. Darla. Well, Liz, David, everyone knows Sussex County is bear country, but an encounter with a porcupine is extremely rare because not only do the quills pierce the skin, they can also migrate through the body and pierce organs and become very deadly. We have pictures of Chester and his encounter and injuries from that porcupine. I want to warn everybody, it's going to be hard to see Chester like that. I could hear him crying in the backyard and her yelling and screaming. As painful as it is to see dozens of porcupine quills piercing the body of Chester, a nine-year-old pit mix, just imagine how excruciating this must have been for him. It was devastating, you know, and he was just trying to get them off crying. Two weeks ago, Miranda De Janeiro was letting Chester out one final time before going to bed when he returned from the rear yard after an apparent scuffle with a porcupine. They first took him to a local vet who removed all of the visible quills, but later had to take him to a specialist. I was I was in shock myself because I came out and just I saw the quills and I immediately I mean I knew they were porcupine quills I've never dealt with it before but I mean you kind of just know that they're porcupine quills like they were everywhere. Our dog is ferocious. A very ferocious hunter, so he was probably going at it, going at it. That's why they've never seen a case this bad. After emergency surgery, Chester seemed to be on the mend, but took a downturn a few days later and died. The vet said that she actually had his heart in her hand and she was pulling quills out of his, this lining of his heart. The New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection says the agency does not track the porcupine population in the state, but directed us to this warning on wildlifehelp.org saying dogs never seem to learn to avoid them, so keep them confined or on a leash when a porcupine is in the neighborhood. I, I just had no clue how deadly that they could be, and I didn't even know that we had them in this area, so I would hate for anyone to have to go through this with their babies because it is awful and traumatizing. It was so awful. It is awful for the family, but the family does want everyone to know that there are porcupines here in the state of New Jersey. And now make sure you are on the lookout for them. Porcupines tend to come out at night. And so if you take your dog out on night, it's important to have that dog leashed. The family also wants families to know that if your dog does encounter a porcupine, make sure you get them to a vet specialist with high capacity radiation uh, X-ray equipment so that they can detect all the quills internally and try to remove them as quickly as possible.